Hello everybody and welcome back. Uh, this is Zach and today we're playing a classic. Turok the Dinosaur Hunter. Now, this game. Oh man, my fucking childhood. Let's get started right away. So, you know, you got you got Doom and you got Duke Nukem 3D. But man, you got the original Turok and you got, you got a classic. So, I uh, was just chilling around. I already got set up for my preferences on my uh, Windows 7 computer. And, um... I found out that's officially abandoned where, so I downloaded it, and here we are, playing beautiful, smooth Turok. Oh man, this game takes me back. I mean, this was actually the first game that I ever played on an N64. Uh, that and Mario Kart. Uh, those were the two games I first owned when I was a kid. So, let's get started right away. So if you ever played Turok before, I mean, a lot of people who are younger probably never have. It was a big uh, hit on the N64, there was uh, two sequels and another game on the N64. And then it kind of went dead for a long time, then there was a game on the PS2, and there was um, uh, a game on the PS3 and 360 called Turok. Whatever. So, uh, there's I think eight levels, and each level you have to find keys to advance. So, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, you know. I pretty much have it, you know, the game's so old, I pretty much have it at max settings, like what... <laughs> yeah, you shoot deer, they give you that. So, there's a guy. He's dead. So you can clearly see this game was incredibly graphic for its time. Like, look at that blood, holy hell. Now, god damn. Now, <laughs> if you got some kids in the house, no problem, you can switch to green blood, or no blood, but we like red blood. We gotta be honest with ourselves when it comes to violence. So it's a pretty, re it's a really smooth running game on a, on my game already. Obviously, this game's fucking angel. Uh, you can climb these green vine walls. Don't miss them. There's another key. So the levels are quite long. I mean, there's only eight levels in the game, so they're quite long. So uh, don't expect to finish them in like 10, 15 minutes, especially your first playthrough. Holy shit! This is a secret wall right here. Bet you didn't know that. What's going up? Oh gosh, the pulse guy. Ah! Yeah. He gives you a lot of energy cells, and uh, at the end of level three, you get a pulse gun, which is my favorite gun in the game. Got an auto shotgun. But let's go back to the pistol. Don't want to waste any ammo. So the first two or three levels are fairly easy, but it gets pretty hard from then on out. Uh, the game becomes quite a challenge near the end. I mean, I'm talking fucking hard. Like, this game, when I was a kid, I could not beat this game. I didn't beat this game until I was, like, fucking, like, 17, 18 years old. That was, like, years ago. Do -do -do. Oh, we don't want to forget the, uh, the boar. Don't want to forget the shotgun up here. Ah, uh, yeah, the classic pump shotgun. My, one of my favorite guns in the game. Can never go wrong with a pump shotgun. Oh yeah, enemies also respawn. Certain ones do. Some will stay dead forever, but certain ones will respawn. Yeah. Let's not waste any more ammo. Hi guys. Bye guys. So, this game also has quite a bit of platforming. But it's not difficult. Oh shit. It's not hard, as I was saying. <laughs> it takes a little getting used to, though. Um, judging with your jumps, the way you can jump on the edges and things. So you gotta be careful. So, um, yeah. It's not too difficult. There we go, and big jump. Up we go. And we got a little... Mini boss coming up. Auto shotgun takes care of him. Pretty quickly. He's like a troll or something? I have no idea what the fuck this thing is. Oh yeah, lots of ammo. Oh god. Monkeys. Now the monkeys, the best part of them is that they're invincible unless you have the freeze gun. There's a gun that lets you freeze enemies. Kind of like, oh shit. Kind of like a Duke Nukem. And you can freeze it and you can destroy it. So, just a little tidbit of fun information there. Let me, uh, turn down the volume. 
what else can we do here? I think there was a way to make, I don't know what that means. Uh, make sure your HUD uh, more opaque, so, you know. I don't want the, the, the menu taken away from the experience. A little bit of a jump here. Oh, and this is the save feature. Yes, I would like to save. You can save here. Game saved. There we go. When you're on the N64, you had to have a memory pack. And uh, when I actually uh, first owned this game on the N64, we did not have a memory card for our controller for, like, my brother and I, we used to own it together. We didn't have a memory card for, like, literally the first six months we owned our system. So we had to play this game from start to finish every time. And the farthest we ever got without a memory pack was, like, literally three levels. So, yeah. <laughs> So here, we're back here again in the beginning, but we opened up this passageway now, so let's get going. Ooh, explosive shells. Yeah, explosive shells are deadly, and they're extremely useful. You don't want to waste them on shitty raptors. There's also a lot of secrets in this game, but I'm just, you know, going through the game, enjoying myself like I should. Here, hey, hello. Nope, don't hit me with those grenades. Another key. Three more keys in the level to find. Oh, hello there. Oh, goodbye. You can actually avoid a lot of enemies in the game, slow ones especially, and you save a lot of ammo. Ah, uh, this cave. Oh, these things. These things are so annoying. I mean, they take one hit usually, but there's just there's so many of them in these fucking caves. So whenever you, like, discover caves, you're gonna be dealing with these guys all the time. There's another shotgun, in case you missed it the first time. Bitch. And, yeah, these- oh, there's the big one. These are the, uh, like, the moms. It's not too difficult, though. Oh, if you collect a hundred of those golden Triforce thingies, you get, um, an extra life. Yeah, this is the days when you had lives and you didn't have, and you had actual health bars. Oh yeah, invincibility. This ability slows everything down, and it's so much fun just to, like, shoot things. Bam! Shazam! <laughs> got him. I already got enough arrows. There's only a couple of these invincibility things in the game, but they're just fun to have. Like instant death. <laughs> oh, shotgun ammo. Thank you, good sir. And they don't last very long, so... You know, have fun with them when you find them. Oh, this place. Oh, yeah. The Beatles. My favorite enemy in the whole game. I think there's... Is there anything good down here? I think there's like a big health thing. Oh, explosive ammo. Do not want to leave that behind. Oh, yeah, this takes you... Yeah, there's an orange health thing down here. I think it's like 25 health or 50 health. I don't remember. But I'm already past 100, so it doesn't really matter. Right. Let's go back to the way we came. Oh, another one of these fucking caves. Oh, uh, yeah. Level 3 key. We're doing good. Alright, so down here... Now, only underwater, all you got is your knife, so... Yeah, and these fuckers are just gonna be coming out of the woodwork trying to kill me. Oh, yeah. I got the assault rifle. There's tons of guns in this game. and Back then, that was an awesome thing. Oh, he's respawning. So the assault rifle is this bad boy. It shoots three uh, pistol bullets at one time, so it's quite good. Oh, the maze area. I hate this part of the game. Oh, pfft, that was a waste of ammo. So a lot of dead ends in the maze, but in the dead ends you could find uh, a lot of goodies. Health, bullets, things like that. Also, a very important relic hidden inside this maze that we have to find. 
Uh, I'll tell you about it when I find it. I just don't remember where it's at. It's been uh, probably, I don't know, probably three years, four years since I played through this game. It's been uh, quite a while, actually. But it is a goodie. Ooh, more explosive bullets. Oh, I'm already maxed out. Until I find a backpack, I can only carry so much ammo. Once I find a backpack, I can double my capacity, which is what you really want in the game. Bitches, come here. Another key. Excellent for us. One more key to find on this level, and we're done. Then we just have to find the exit, and then we can go to level two. Or level three. We actually have a, a, a choice. <laughs> Okay, so that's the way out, but we can't leave yet. We're missing a very important relic. So we're going to do a little backtracking. Now, I can either walk or I can run. Why do I walk in this game? I have no idea. So I think it's back this way, actually. Yeah, this way, I believe, is where the relic is. Out of my way. Yep, here it is. The Chrono Piece trigger. Oh, Chrono Scepter Piece. Basically, in each level, there's a Chrono Scepter Piece, and once you get all eight pieces, if you find them all, you get the ultimate weapon in the game, which makes the last boss very easy. Of course, I love a challenge, so, and I don't think I know all the locations of them, or at least I forget. So, we're probably going to fight him once we get there without the Chrono Scepter Piece. So, I'm fine with that. I don't give a shit. Man, oh, feels so good to be playing this game, man. This is like, just, what a stress reliever. You know, long day at work, come home, kill some fucking dinosaurs. It's all good. Alright, so we're almost done with the level, actually. The first level's not that long. It's actually quite short. And of course, I'm, actually, you know what? This is really sad. Oh, well, whatever. Yeah, it's not too difficult at first, but, uh... Psh! <laughs> Those guys thought they had to jump on me. I don't think so. So, we're almost up to getting an extra life now. I obviously missed a lot of little golden triangle pieces, but whatever. And grenades. You collect a lot of grenades, but you don't get the grenade launch until the fourth level, so... Just keep collecting them. Now down here... Now you can't, now back in the day, you play this game probably usually with just a keyboard. Oh man, that was fucking hard, man. A mouse, gotta have a mouse for this game. As with most first person shooters. Oh, purple ones, these give you 10. So. Always go for the, uh, the purple ones. Oh, hey, hey, get away. And there's the last key. Got it. Let's get out of here. Oh, they're already dead. <laughs> Alright, we beat the level. We did it. Now we're going to the... Oh, boy. Oh, got him. There we go. We got an extra life. Good for us. Alright, so. Here is the hub world. This is where you activate the keys to enter new levels. So, let's see. Level 6, level 4, level 2. Here we go. Awesome. There should be a save thing somewhere around here. I haven't saved in a while. Where the fuck is it? Somewhere. Oh, there it is. So we're going to do a quick save here. Oh, wait, I think I did it wrong. There we go. Alright, guys. This has been fun, but when we come back... We're going to go to level two, the jungle. So I'll see you guys real soon.